Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have a look at the new build of Windows 10. This is 10166, released on Thursday, the 9th of July. And as we get closer to the final version of Windows 10, July 29th, we're seeing less and less changes in these new builds. So, in this video, we'll have a look at, um, at what's changed and we'll also have a look at the Groove Music app, which has been updated uh, from the what was Xbox Music. Um, so the UI is just the same. I'm using this in tablet mode on this Encore 8. I usually use it in this mode, um, but uh, in portrait mode. But for the sake of this video, I've done it this way because it uh, it looks better on the uh, on the on the video. So overall, not a huge amount of changes. Microsoft don't even list any changes to it. But uh, there are a couple of bits and pieces. The Edge browser um, has got a couple of extra bits and pieces in it. Um, if I go into the developer settings here, here you'll see one of those tips that have started to come up now showing you how to uh, how to do little things in Windows 10, which is quite nice. But um, the main change in the Explorer is this, or as I say, Microsoft Edge, is it allow loopback. So uh, I don't know if you've ever used um, something that uses the browser to configure the settings on a local device. So if you install Plex server or, uh, or something like that, then you'll see 127.0. Uh, zero dot one in the browser and that's a sort of way of configuring a local uh, device through the browser for say Plex and that didn't work in the previous build but that does now because by this tick button it worked before if you ticked it but now this is the default right so let's have a look at something that's changed since the last video I did and that's the music app it is now called uh, Groove Music um, it was originally called Xbox Music, and then the app, it's been recently called Music, and now it's called Groove Music, but it's actually Groove, and uh, the music bit is going to be dropped, and Microsoft say that's just to help with the transition. So, um, the music app overall hasn't really changed, it's more of a branding exercise, but uh, there has been some nice things like this transparent, um, now playing control across the bottom here, and I think this dark look looks really nice now I and mean, it is an option you can switch it on and off uh, you've got all the artists that uh, that uh, you know come in the circles like that and then albums are in uh, squares like that and i think that's a nice little uh, way of differentiating between um, artists and albums i said this trend now playing control looks quite good as well and uh, you can adjust the the uh, that effect uh, you can have dark or light as you can in uh, Edge browser. So I think the, the music player is looking good now. And movies and TVs, as it's now called, it was, may have been called film TVs but on the uh, UK English, but it's now called movies and TVs. I did notice one thing on here. Um, if you go uh, an episode where you've got a, t uh, a, TV a TV series that you've got a single episode of, like that, uh, you can change that to show all episodes, so you can purchase missing episodes, which is it's quite a good idea if you're building up a, a collection. So other than that, I haven't really seen any other major changes. Um, I've had to reboot this twice uh, today uh, because the uh, explore uh, the start menu wasn't coming, start screen wasn't coming up. But uh, hopefully that's just because it's a, a new install and uh, it's just sorting itself out. Uh, I, always, I have found though if you do a PC refresh it puts it back to a clean state after you've done an upgrade build and that does work better as well. But overall uh, looking very polished now and looking like the, the finished um, object. I'll just flick it into this, the uh, desktop way just to show you what that looks like. That's uh, pretty much the same and I think this is looking looking rather nice. So you can backtrack on our YouTube channel and look at some of the early builds if you want to have a look at how things have changed not long now before we get the final version.